Hello everybody, I am Elio, and let's continue playing Pokemon White. In the last part, I got terribly annoyed while trying to clear out Route 7. And in this part, with hopefully less fail and aggravation, we shall move on to Celestial Tower and reach the top where Skylar waits for us. So, this first floor isn't uh, particularly anything interesting, it doesn't have any trainers or wild Pokemon that can attack. This is the true, real first floor, and we shall start by battling this Psychic here. Ah, uh, you can't avoid him as you can very plainly see, so let's get to it. Psychic like Green, it seems like. Uh, LGM. I, I'm pretty sure this is a new Pokemon. Level 30. Uh, it's Psychic type, and it, I think it's pretty good offensively. Uh, offensively. I think, anyway. So, while um, we're, I'm just doing this battle, I guess I may as well explain. Uh, there's been a brief... Um, a brief stopping in the videos. Uh, I am, and I apologize for that. I was actually in London and I wasn't able to inform you guys. Uh, but it, it, London was pretty cool. Uh, I went, um, I went to see Warhorse, and I might have senses went really weird because <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't stop shedding tears, and that wasn't because of the <laughs> play, mind you. This is a Solosis, Guess what this is. Uh, I mean, guess what moves it has? Anyway, and I also meant to see Much Ado About Nothing with Catherine Tate and, uh, uh, Catherine Tate and David Tennant. That was funny as all heck. <laughs> and we went to see National Gallery, and I saw them setting up for uh, an advertisement for the Olympics. Just one year to go now. And of course it has recovered. That's just great. You know what? I think it's gonna recover again, and I know I shouldn't do this because it's a required battle, but I think I'm gonna skip this. Thank goodness, I had to have Scrappy finish that. Right, so, and the sidekick is fed, and my Pokemon is a Sigalith level 30, so. Ah, uh, let's green. So, Icy Wind. Let's just, you know, this is a flying type, so Ice is good win, so. Why didn't that... Is single if special defensively oriented or... Oh wait, no, the light screen, yeah. The light screen that increases special defense, so... Let's try the avalanche. Oh yeah, that, that's much better. Especially since avalanche is powered up, thanks for that side boom used. Anyway, there's that psychic done, thank goodness. And we shall move on. Yeah, you, you can work your way around that lens if you want, but... So let's just see what meow meow meow. Wah wah. I don't understand people. This last is two Pokemon. The first of which is a Dealing, a level 30, and the second is a Gopta, level 30 with Frisk. Thank you for having a battle with me. Meow. Anyway. Over here, this item is a Hyper Potion. Uh, in case I didn't mention, Frisk allows you to see the uh, item that your opponent has. So as you can see, you you can walk around uh, this guy, so, but let's just see what he has. Let's go. This Pokefan has two Pokemon, the first of which is an Amalga! Level 30. Oh boy. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but static, uh, it causes paralysis uh, with physical contact. And with a Molga having that, it's especially annoying, so watch out for that. Oh, would you look at that? Ah, and Joltik's level 31. And the second Pokemon is a Herdia level 30 with Intimidate. I know, empathetic. I bet you are. Jeez, Gelato fainted again. I just... Wow. Dude, the repels are off! Wake up! Well, I guess I'll mention Litwick here. This is a new Pokemon. It's Ghost and Fire type, and when it grows up to its final evolutionary form, Chandelure, it's one of the best special attackers ever. I think it's the best... Uh, special attacker that's non-legendary. So yeah, pretty big deal. Anyway, let's face this 
woman here and see what Pokemon she's got. She has one Pokemon, a Swadloon, level 31. Oh, the Pokemon is no longer with her. She mentioned that she had a strong Pokemon with her, but she, she, she said it's no longer with her, and since we're here in the Celestial Tower, it's implied that... Oh, that's really dark, actually. Oh, dear. I think I've just kind of been stunned by that now. So, let's just move on and hopefully get our confidence and cheerfulness back by battling another trainer. And this one's required, so... Oh boy. Psychic, of course. Bell. Ah, oh, that's something pretty interesting, because Bell is the Japanese... is uh, Bianca's Japanese name. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting to be seeing on this psychic here. Never noticed that before, actually. So, Icy Wind. Ah. That's gonna be a problem. Lucky chant, which means I can't use get critical hits anymore. So that sends out Scrappy, and hopefully he can get the job done faster. Oh boy, he's still paralyzed from that Amolgar. Anyway, raising its defense, that's very not good. And it's still raising its defense, that's very not good, in, uh, even more. Faint attack, let's see. Oh wow, that's barely doing anything. Let's just keep at it, because this is just bad. Defense curl. You know what? If I'm just going to be keep paralyzed and Bashan is going to keep raising his defense, I think I may as well just skip the rest of this. Yeah. And about eight faint attacks later, Gelato is level 34. Good stuff. Uh, music? Oh, <laughs> thank goodness I put it. I <laughs> found another glitch then, <laughs> that kind of scared me. Alright, we shall move on now, I, after I've just been switching lucky eggs. And you can work your way around the guy on the left, but it's very hard to walk around, work your way around this guy, so... Let's fight, let's just show this battle and see what this guy's got. Two Pokemon. Okay! <laughs> Sorry, that's just too much Doctor Who on my mind. That's something else I didn't learn, by the way, go to the Doctor Who experience. And knowing my fandom, I got a couple of posters. Anyway, enough about my time in London. This is the game, right? You came to it to the game. But the game, the game's very interesting. The game which you lost. Never mind, jeez. Anyways. That Yamas. Oh yeah, Mummy! That's, that's, um... I think a trainer mentioned this earlier. But m what Mummy does, if you attack... Uh, Yamask or its evolution, Cofagrigus, uh, then your ability will change to Mummy. Well, if you use a physical attack on it. Physical contact uh, makes it your ability Mummy. And this is another Pokemon, uh, this is a new Pokemon, Golette. Its evolution, Golurk, is one of my brother's favorites, but uh, being a first evolutionary form, it's not that good at this point in the game. Only evolution evolutions can do rather good at this point. Anyways, enough repeating stuff you've already said and trying to make it sound even better because it fails. We shall go over to the Psychic and fight him, her. The Psychic has two Pokemon. The first is a Litwick, like we saw before, level 31. And Jeltwick's level 32. He's nearly ready. And the second is a Swoobat, level 31. Just in case I haven't mentioned, Swoobats is the evolution of Woobat, obviously. And Extra had to finish that, and he grew to level 34, because the other two kept fainting for some dumb reason. Eh, yeah, Cutter. I hate it. So, let's just get these two healed up. And Joltik's just about ready, actually. I uh, give him about to level 32, one more level, and he can be start fighting by himself, which is just as well because we'll need him for the next gym, which should be next part, actually. And you can work your way around this guy, so yeah, I've, actually, I think he's 
excuse me, I think it's rather hard to work around, so I think I'll just fight him anyway. Psychic like Bryce. Wasn't that the name of a gym leader from a previous generation? Yeah, yeah, I think. Something like it, anyway. Uh, this psychic has a duo, duo Sion, the evolution of Solosis. You can guess what move it has. So, future psychics. Alright, that, that's a move that hits two turns later with a psychic type moves. Yeah, as with a move that's psychic type. I think 80 base power. And of course it has Rescover! Skip it! The end? Is this it? No. Not quite. Although I'd like it to be the end of the part, it isn't. So, let's switch around the order here. And let's just fight this nurse so we have quick access to healing. She has two Pokemon. The first is a Gothita, level 31. And the second is a Lomomola, -mo -mo no, a Lomomola, level 31. It's special because it has the highest base HP stat of any Pokemon in this generation. Also, it's although it's shaped like a heart, it's not related to Love Disc. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Oh yeah, and beware, she has a Hyper Potion. That can screw you over. Come on, your team is really healthy. Wow. <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I just do that? Anyway. So actually, something I'm uh, I mean, bringing up, about this point in the game, if you've been noticing, the levels of my Pokemon have been, uh, the opponent's Pokemon have been corresponding with the num the part number. So, uh, I think this is part 32 at this point. So, and the Pokemon around here are level 31. So, you could skip both of these Ace Trainers, so this floor is relatively... Pointless, I guess, but let's. Uh, we gotta fight these ace trainers anyway, so let's see what they have. Shall we? This ace trainer has one Pokemon, a lone Stoutland, level 33. Yay, and Scrappy grew to level 34. He's about ready. Oh, Scary Face. Ah, another pretty useless move for me, because. Scary Face dramatically lowers uh, the speed of the opponent, which, again, I don't usually have stat lowering moves. So, moving on to the second Ace Trainer, which is now going to block my path. Thank you very much. Pokemon that grew up in Nova and grew up elsewhere both works here peacefully. Dog. This Ace Trainer has a Swoobat, level 32. And the Guffatora, level 32. Guffarita, or Guffatora, I don't even know. Is the evolution of Guffata, by the way. And, moving around her, since she blocked my path, thank you very much again. We can move on to this TM65 Shadow Claw. Fitting, because it's a ghost type physical move. Phys fitting, since we're in Celestial Tower. And up here, we've finally reached the top. And the repel wore off just in time, because I don't think I need it anymore. Oh, you came, thank you. I was right, I, what I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, no, it's fine. So, we don't get to see it? The Pokemon? Did you really... Are you sure you didn't drag us up here for a different reason? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, shame no more. Anyway, no matter how things are, a pilot can see them. That's right, since you've come this far, why didn't you ring the bell? So she was bells is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon, and the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. How can you tell? Well, let's find out. And he gets ringing the bell. Ding dong. The sound of the bell reverberates throughout the area. What a pretty sound. Elliot, you are a kind and strong person. That's it's that kind of sound. Again, how can you tell? Let me reintroduce myself. I am Skylar, the leader of the next gym. She uses flying types. When we're ready, we'll go there. We'll follow her there. So, that's it for the Celestial Tower, but before we end here, 
I am going to get out my item finder and go down the tower and search for some hidden items. I did not know you could find items, uh, Pokemon up here, <laughs> not items. So, I'll just scour down the tower now, and if I don't find any items, this will be the end of the part, so, see you guys next time when we'll go to M Mistralton Gym and fight Skylar, hopefully. See you guys then.